Hey there, this is Laura with Mom Envy, and today we are going to be learning how to make date night tokens with an Xtool P2 laser machine. So step one is to place your wood inside of your laser bed. I'm working on honeycomb, so I've just used some honeycomb clips on top of it just to keep the wood in place while it is lasering. If you're using slats, that is fine too. So after you open up your Xtool Creative Space software, make sure you click the refresh button just to make sure that you capture the image that is currently what's inside of your machine. And I'm gonna be working with three millimeter basswood, which I've selected on the right. Now over on the left hand side, you're gonna click image and find the image that you're going to add wherever you have saved the date night tokens, that's where you're going to select and place. Okay, it will load the image into your program. You're gonna go ahead and drag it over. I'm gonna resize these a little bit to make them a little bit smaller to make sure that they all fit on the wood, but you can make them whatever size you'd like. And then don't forget, of course, you can delete any of the date night tokens you don't want. And you can also add some. Then we're going to adjust our settings for each layer. I'm gonna start with my blue layer, which is my score line, which is just that small inset line that I have inside of each token. I'm just gonna use the reference that comes with the set program for the three millimeter basswood. Next then, we are gonna go ahead and do our black layer, which is the engraved line. Those are all of our, that's all of our text. So we'll switch to engrave. And from this reference, I'm actually gonna adjust it because I actually find that I want a darker engrave and making it a little bit slower work. So I'll take that speed down to 100. After that, we're going to change our cut line. And again, I'm gonna start with the reference as my starting point. So I click cut, we'll stick with the reference, but I'm actually gonna take my power down because for me, 100 is way too high. And I'm gonna go all the way down to 30. And for me, that easily cuts it no problem, but it leaves a lot less char. And it, in the long run, it's better for my machine to be working at a lower power. So now ready to cut the file. So in the bottom right hand corner, I'm gonna click the green process button. It will then do a preview of what is going to be cut and engraved and scored on the next screen. So everything looks good. I'm gonna go ahead in the upper right hand corner, click start, and then I'll show you what it looks like inside of my machine. Okay, so we're ready to push start. The blue light is glowing. I will push that button. It will begin to engrave and cut and score. And I will show you what the final product looks like and how we will turn this into a cute jar of date night tokens. Okay, once you have cut your date night tokens, it's actually really easy to just clean them up. I just use a little bit of alcohol. I put a little bit on a paper towel and then I take this and all I'm gonna do is just wipe this. And I will tell you that at first it's going to look a little bit wet, but that will dry and it'll look a lot better. And you could mask them, but I honestly find that this is easier than having to peel off the mask from all of these tiny little letters. I'm not gonna take the time to clean all of these with you, but what I do for this is I'm just gonna have a jar that these are going to get thrown into. And then you can either engrave, you can paint this of course, and then engrave it. I can also just vinyl this to say something like date nights. There are so many different ways that you can decorate this jar to make it a full package and make it a little bit more of a higher selling priced item. And don't forget, of course, that if you are gonna be selling this, you can just do a standard set that you sell or you can let people customize it and you can even give some of these blank. You could have nothing written on here other than the no expiration and the good for one and leave this part blank and people could fill in their own date ideas on it using a Sharpie. So this is what all of the finished tokens look like that I created. And then this is an example of what it could look like inside of a jar.